Louder. Welcome everybody to come. I really appreciate it. Ladies, gentlemen, brothers, sisters. I'm the president of the Vietnam Best Lakes Events Motorcycle Club since we've heard. I'd just like to welcome everybody to today's ceremony. Thanks to Green Gray, Color Guard, uh, for showing up, and everybody else. Yeah. President Ronald Reagan once said, I don't have to tell you how fragile this precious, precious gift of freedom is. Every time we hear, watch, or read the news, we are reminded that liberty is a rare commodity in this world. We honor our heroes today and remember their achievement, their courage, and their dedication. We say thank you for their sacrifices. Brother in arms, my brother, my dad, and those only here in spirit, a person can only help but feel awed at the enormity of what we encounter. We stand in the midst of patriots and the family and friends of those who know we serve. The service members we honor today come from a different walk of life, but they share several fundamentals. They possess courage, pride, dedication, selflessness, dedication to duty and integrity, all of the qualities needed to serve the later, uh, greater than oneself. Many of them didn't ask to leave their homes to fight the distant battlefields. Many didn't even volunteer. They didn't go to war because they loved fighting. They were called to be part of something bigger than themselves. They were ordinary people who responded in extraordinary ways for extraordinary times. They rose the nation's call to protect the nation, to give them to us so much. Millions of Americans have fought and died in the battlefields here and abroad for our freedoms here at life. All right, so we have, uh, we've awarded medals to uh, many soldiers and their names, uh, put on buildings for them to honor them for their bravery, but nothing can replace what they've left behind from a fall service member. No number of medals, ribbons, can comfort those that left behind. This is not a time to be sad, but it's a time to be proud. Be proud of who we are. Be proud of knowing that we have known such brave souls. Pam Billy Hardware were two of those two brave souls who did answer the call to duty and fought for my and our freedoms. I miss and love you both brothers with all respect. I'd like to thank and recognize all service members and veterans that are here and their families. Today, people throughout our country will gather uh, to do this and remembrance and pay gratitude for those who serve our country. Our gathering is just a small spark in the flame of pride that burns across this nation and every day. It is not a lot, but it is a small way to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Your presence here today is, is that of the people gathering all across the United States and America to do a tribute to those troops that were lost for their families. It is a way to say we remember for the soldiers who sur survived who starved the muddy trenches in France to platoon patrol to the hazy jungles of Vietnam and the young men and women patrolling the mountains of Afghanistan. We remember and we honor you. Thank you for attending today. God bless your family. God bless our troops and God bless America. Amen. At this time, would you please stand for the presentation of our wreath by Frank Flores to honor our comrades who lost their lives in defense of our nation. 